Hey guys, hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I am going to teach about how do you create a table in SQL and how can you insert values into the table in SQL. So far, you've been seeing me use different databases, but you might be curious how exactly can you create these databases and tables in SQL and how can you insert values into them? I'm going to show that to you today. Okay. Let's get started right away with the video. The first topic I'm going to address is how can you create a table? What is the syntax for that? Okay. So to create a table, it's a very straightforward syntax. So you type create table and say here, my database name is cricket, as you all know, and I want to create a new table called as employees. Okay. Okay. Just type that. Then I will open the brackets. And I want to give the columns that need to be present in the table. Okay. So say I give a column ID. Okay. And ID should be a number. So I will assign it to the integer data type. Okay. And on top of that, I will also give it an auto increment. Okay. So what this will do is whenever we add a new value, the ID will get increased automatically. Okay. So when we do an example, you will understand that better. Then I put a comma, say I want to put the name of the person and for the name, I will give it the data type varchar and I'll give it hundred. Okay. So varchar is a variable character string. Okay. So what happens is depending on the length of your string, say you create a string, which has four letters, the varchar will get adjusted accordingly. Okay. Then I add another uh, column, say age. And I obviously age is also an integer. So I assign it to integer. Very simple. Then I put a comma. And then now we come to the concept called as primary key. Okay. So primary key is nothing but a column in the table, which has only unique values. And using that, you can identify unique records in the table. Okay. So here I'm going to give this primary key to obviously the column ID because ID needs to have unique values, right? Two different employees cannot have the same ID. So I'm going to assign the primary key to ID. Then you close the bracket and put a semicolon. Okay. Now, when you run this, it says zero rows affected, but the query has executed. So now if we say select star from cricket dot employees, you will see the columns have been created. Uh, ID, name, and age, right? So we have the columns created, okay? Now, the next step is to insert values, right? Into this table, okay? Let us first start with inserting one row into the table. How do we do that is, so you'll type insert into cricket.employees, right? The name of the table. Then you open uh, like brackets. Say I want to add the values for all the columns, right? You will just open the bracket and say ID. No need to put it in double quotes. You can just leave it as name, age, okay? And then next line, you type values and give it values, okay? So I'll give it values of say one, okay? For ID, name is Aditya. And age, I'll give it 20, okay? So I'm just adding one value, then close it with the semicolon. Now, when I run this, again, it says one row affected. So let us just do a select star from this table again to see what's happening. Now you see ID one and name Aditya, age 28, have been inserted into the table, okay? Next case, say I wanted to insert not one row, but multiple rows. I could do the same. So I'll just copy this part. Okay. So multiple rows. So I will just say, instead of saying values one here, I'll make it two. I will give it another name, Anand. Okay. And age 29. And say I want to add one more record as well. So I just put a comma and basically just copy the same format here and now I can give it a name. Okay. 
can give it three. We are given a name Aj. Age can be 26. Okay. Now when I run this, so I've added two more rows of data. This is one row and this is the other row. So when I run this, you will see it now. Okay. Two rows affected it says. So now when I say select star from dot employees. Now we see three rows. So first I added Aditya, then I added two rows, right? The row with Anand and the row with Ajay. Now we have these values. Okay. So suppose you want to add values only to a specific column. Okay. Say I want to add the name of a person, but I don't want to add the age of the person. Okay. We can also do that in SQL. So I'll just copy the same statement again and I'll bring it down here. Okay. Say I just want to add the name. So I'll just remove the other columns here. And since it is just one value, I can just remove this. And for name, I'll just give it a new name. Asif. Okay. I'm just adding name for value for name. So now when I run this, Okay, it's just one row affected. Let's see what has happened. Okay, just added the name as if no age, nothing. You see, so the name as if is there, age is assigned a default value, null as you see here. Okay, but the ID got added automatically, although I did not add the ID here in the insert statement, it got added automatically because as we go back to the top, we gave it the feature auto increment. So it is getting incremented automatically. Even if we do not insert it, it is still getting incremented. That's why we have the value four here for Asif, despite the fact that, you know, we never added that in our insert statement. Okay. So this is how you would add a specific value for a, only one column in a table. Okay. Now, let us say we have created this table. I just want to add another new column now, like suddenly to the table. We can use this a command called as alter. So you would say alter cricket dot employees. Okay. And then we'll say add the give the column name. Say I want to add CP and give it a data type where care of 50, for example. Okay. Put the semicolon. So you should say alter table. Okay, I just missed that. So say alter table uh, and then name of database dot name of table. Then add the name of the column and the data type. So now when I add this, it says zero rows affected. Now when I again select star from cricket dot employees, you will see the new column city has been added and it is assigned a default value null. Okay. One final thing, there is also a way we can create a new table using another table as well, right? How would you do that in SQL? Say I want to create a new table, which is called as employee new. So I'll say create table employee new. Okay, the database has to be mentioned as well here. So cricket dot employee new and say as like the alias operator we used in the past and say select star from cricket dot employees okay employees or employee let's check the name of employees okay that was the table so when i run this it says four records affected so now let us select star from the new table which is employee new put a semicolon Okay, I think yeah, the semicolon has to come here. Yeah, now let me put a semicolon and run it. Now you see the new table has also got the same data as the employees table. Why? Because I created that table by using, like saying as select everything from the original table we had created a few minutes back, which is the employee table, which is why the new table also has the exact same number of rows, columns and data. Okay, this is how you can create a new table from already existing table. Okay. If you like the video, do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for further videos. Till then, take care and bye.